Hello everyone, my name is Aparajita Borwa. I have cleared CSI GRF June 2020 with All India Ring 111 in Life Sciences. I have followed some strategies during my preparation and which I want to share with you all today. So my first strategy was to clear my basic concepts. So for that I have referred to many standard books that are available. And as you all know, there are 13 units, but uh, covering up all the 13 units is not possible. So I have covered 9 to 10 units, but I have gone through all the things in very depth and very thoroughly. I have studied uh, uh, for that. Uh, the life science book is there by Pranab Kumar and Usha Meena. So that book is uh, has all the topics, all the concepts in a very summarized way. But if your uh, concept is good enough, then that book is uh, well enough for the CSIR preparation and along with that I have also followed an academy videos because I am a special class learner in an, an academy and I have followed uh, many many classes from an academy especially from Dipsikha Goswami ma'am ma'am has provided um, various lectures on various topics especially on plant physiology and fundamental processes yeah, so uh, from there, I have uh, covered up all the lectures by ma'am. For my part A preparation, I have not followed uh, any kind of books, but I have followed the videos by Dipsikha Goswami ma'am on the Anacademy channels and um, also on ma'am's YouTube channel. Ma'am has provided a lot of videos on uh, part A questions like how to solve them and uh, how to approach a question because uh, these are general aptitude questions so uh, so it is a it is something uh, that many students uh, find out very hard the strategy of mine was to uh, solve the previous year question papers uh, because by solving the pyqs we got an idea about how the questions are coming and how uh, on which topic they are focusing more uh, so this helps a lot and uh, this is also helpful for managing the time so that that is very important and for that also there are some tips and tricks that are provided in the an academy platform by Dipsikha Goswami ma'am like how to approach a question and how to answer that uh, in a very short time so that maximum questions can be picked up by us during the examination time and the next thing is that uh, uh, how to study and how much time we should devote in CSIR preparation so for that I will say that uh, there shouldn't be any hard and bound time like uh, we have to study 9 hours or 10 hours a day but but whenever you prefer you can uh, study you can utilize that time being be it in the morning or in the late night also so for me i used to uh, study in uh, mainly in the late nights uh, then the next thing is uh, for the questions uh, you can discuss with your you can have a group discussion with friends and uh, all other csi aspirants if uh, you are in touch with this will increase the area of your knowledge and uh, the more you study the more you revise the things uh, this becomes more easy to attempt the questions in csi because uh, because uh, along with the study um, it is also very important to get the things get the knowledge inside your head uh, so that uh, the things the answers will come up during the exam so for that revision is very important so for my strategy i used to revise all the things every other day uh, whenever it was possible the next thing is that um oh you must have focused on the goal that uh, that i have to achieve the csi grf um, at any cost because uh, for that i used to set up times like uh, in the next morning or tomorrow from 7 to 10 a.m or so i will uh, complete this topic on plant physiology or something so uh, at earlier uh, i also had that uh, things of uh, delaying up the study and uh, no i'll not do this this morning or i'll do this in the evening uh, so this actually um, consumes a lot of 
our valuable time so uh, i avoided these things and i set up my mind that um, i have to do this so for that i used to set up this uh, time period and usually um, i used to uh, follow up my routine so that's all about my csr preparation journey hope this will be helpful and also i want to really really thank dipsika goswami ma'am because uh, in my csr journey ma'am was my first teacher i have started from very basics from i i have been following uh, an academy and ma'am's videos uh, since a year now and and those classes helped me a lot so i really really want to thank uh, from the bottom of my heart that thank you ma'am and your guidance your classes that was really really helpful for me in this csr journey and for and uh, that helped me to achieve my dream and and currently also i have been selected as a phd student in the department of mbbt tejpur university assam so for all that thanks a lot ma'am and have a nice day